Welcome Stoics. On today's journey, we will learn the virtue of focusing and centering on yourself. Set others aside and prepare yourself to achieve your goals and dreams. Having trouble doing that? Well, I'm happy to tell you that you're not alone. Even I had difficulties taking myself seriously until I watched a video like the one you're watching right now. For that reason, I recommend staying until the end, and I assure you that you will leave here ready to take on the world and become completely unstoppable. Without further ado, let's get started. Why wait for circumstances to improve? It is far more prudent to cultivate your own inner garden before attempting to remedy the external world. Concentrating on self-improvement is crucial if one aspires to manifest the unimaginable in life. This inward journey, although demanding, holds the key to enduring transformation. In this discourse, we present a collection of profound lessons and timeless quotations designed to inspire and empower, guiding you toward goals previously deemed unattainable. These words aim to soothe the soul, reminding you that adversity is transient and that within you lies a reservoir of strength awaiting activation. Allow these powerful messages to nourish your heart and mind, uplifting your spirit. Together, we can transform darkness into light and discover the fortitude to persevere. The art of ataraxia serves as our initial focus. Let us delve into this captivating concept, a state of serene calm and tranquility, steadfast despite life's inevitable vicissitudes. Imagine navigating through turbulent waters, with towering waves, howling winds, and a tempestuous sky. Yet, your gaze remains fixed on the horizon, exuding a calm that belies the chaos around you. This image encapsulates the essence of living in ataraxia, a stoic principle of immense value in our daily lives. First and foremost, let us discuss the profound importance of maintaining calm in all circumstances. Life is replete with challenges, workplace issues, personal conflicts, sudden illnesses, all akin to waves attempting to unsettle our stability. Ignoring these issues is not an option. Rather, they must be faced with a clear mind and a calm heart. Remember the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius. Perfect tranquility is achieved through the good ordering of the mind. Each challenge presents an opportunity to refine your composure and focus, building resilience and inner peace. How can we effectively manage problems with clarity and calmness? Preparation and a broad perspective are essential. Personally, I commence each day with meditation and reflective thinking. This practice involves visualizing myself calmly addressing the day's challenges, thereby building mental resilience that guards against impulsive reactions and fosters composure under pressure. Let us explore various methods to cultivate inner calm. One particularly beneficial practice is mindfulness. By focusing on the present moment, one can block out anxieties about the future and regrets about the past. This mindful presence enhances the ability to remain centered and serene. Positive self-talk is another powerful strategy. When confronted with a problem, I remind myself that e this too shall pass e and that I possess the strength to handle it. Transforming your internal dialogue is crucial for maintaining composure and confidence. Consider the profound impact of ataraxia on decision-making abilities. A calm mind functions optimally, unclouded by intense emotions. When composed, decisions are not only well-considered, but also aligned with one's values and long-term objectives. Reflect on how stress often leads to reactive rather than proactive decisions. Herein lies the invaluable nature of ataraxia. Here are some practical exercises to cultivate ataraxia in real life. One preferred technique is visualizing worst-case scenarios and contemplating how one would manage them. This practice not only prepares one for the unexpected, but also heightens appreciation for the present. Additionally, 
I recommend maintaining a gratitude journal. Each night, reflect on three things for which you are grateful. This simple yet profound practice fosters a positive mindset and a deep sense of peace. By integrating these exercises into your daily routine, you will gradually move closer to a state of enduring peace and inner strength. Remember, ataraxia is not a destination, but an ongoing journey. Epictetus wisely said, you do not wish for things to happen as you want them to, but wish for them to happen as they do, and you will find serenity. Embracing this mindset is essential for achieving true ataraxia. Imagine facing an ostensibly insurmountable problem with limited resources and time, where every effort seems to set you back. This scenario tests not only one's skills, but also one's willpower. Mastering willpower is crucial for overcoming adversity and transforming challenges into opportunities. Stoic resilience, the ability to recover from setbacks, is developed through conscious willpower training. As Cicero noted, you know, the difficulty of a task is not measured by its nature, but by your perception of it. Expanding on Cicero's wisdom, let us delve deeper into the mechanics of willpower and resilience. Willpower is often misunderstood as mere perseverance, but it encompasses a broader spectrum of self-regulation, strategic planning, and emotional intelligence. Building willpower begins with small, consistent actions that strengthen one's resolve. Consider the analogy of a muscle. Just as muscles grow stronger through regular exercise, willpower is fortified through repeated practice and incremental challenges. One effective method to build willpower is through deliberate discomfort. This involves voluntarily stepping out of one's comfort zone in small, manageable ways to build tolerance and resilience. For example, taking cold showers, fasting periodically, or committing to a challenging exercise regimen can all serve as training grounds for willpower. These practices condition the mind to handle discomfort with grace and composure, translating into greater resilience in the face of unexpected challenges. Another vital component of willpower is the ability to delay gratification. This skill is essential for achieving long-term goals and maintaining focus on what truly matters. Practice delaying gratification by setting small goals that require patience and discipline, such as saving a portion of your income each month or dedicating time daily to learning a new skill. Over time, these practices will enhance your capacity to stay committed to larger objectives despite immediate temptations or distractions. Additionally, cultivating a growth mindset is crucial for resilience. Embrace challenges as opportunities for growth rather than threats to your stability. This shift in perspective can transform your approach to difficulties, allowing you to see setbacks as temporary obstacles rather than insurmountable barriers. Reflect on past challenges you have overcome and recognize the strengths and skills you developed as a result. This reflection reinforces your belief in your ability to navigate future difficulties with confidence and resilience. Let us consider the role of self-compassion in building resilience. Being kind to oneself during tough times is not a sign of weakness, but a critical aspect of maintaining mental and emotional well-being. When encountering setbacks, Practice self-compassion by acknowledging your feelings without judgment and offering yourself the same kindness and understanding you would extend to a friend. This approach helps mitigate the negative impact of failure and encourages a more resilient and balanced response to adversity. Furthermore, fostering a supportive network is essential for resilience. Surround yourself with individuals who encourage and uplift you providing a buffer against the stresses and challenges of life. Share your goals and struggles with trusted friends or mentors who can offer perspective, advice, and encouragement. This support network serves as a valuable resource, helping you stay grounded and motivated during challenging times. Lastly, integrate reflective practices into your daily routine to enhance resilience. Journaling, meditation, 
and mindfulness are powerful tools for processing experiences, gaining insight, and maintaining emotional equilibrium. These practices allow you to step back from immediate reactions, assess situations with clarity, and respond thoughtfully rather than impulsively. In conclusion, the journey toward ataraxia and resilience is multifaceted, involving the cultivation of inner calm, the strengthening of willpower, and the development of emotional intelligence and self-compassion. By embracing these principles and practices, one can navigate life's inevitable challenges with greater ease and grace, transforming obstacles into opportunities for growth and self-discovery. Remember, ataraxia is not a final destination, but a continuous journey of self-mastery and inner peace. As you embark on this journey, each step will bring you closer to a state of enduring tranquility and strength, empowering you to live a life of purpose and fulfillment. Within the intricate tapestry of human existence, where uncertainty looms and adversities abound, the pursuit of learning and adaptation unfolds gradually, akin to the blossoming of a delicate flower under the nurturing rays of the sun. Embracing resilience and acceptance amidst life's vicissitudes is a nuanced process, one that cannot be hastened or perfected overnight. It constitutes a journey of profound self-discovery, fortitude, and personal development, characterized by moments of introspection and the crucible of daily experiences. In my personal quest for resilience, I have discerned the profound efficacy of journaling as a transformative practice. Each evening, as twilight descends and the world recedes into silence, I retreat into the sanctum of my journal. There, amidst the pristine pages, I document the trials and triumphs of the day, capturing the essence of my experiences in indelible ink. Through this ritual of reflection, I glean insights into my strengths and vulnerabilities, charting a course for personal growth and self-realization. The act of journaling serves not merely as a mirror to my soul, but also as a compass, guiding me towards greater self-awareness and emotional resilience. As we traverse the rugged terrain of life, we inevitably encounter peaks of elation and troughs of despair. Yet, fortified by the wisdom of the ancients and a steadfast commitment to growth, we navigate these undulating landscapes with poise and fortitude. Stoicism, with its timeless precepts on virtue and equanimity, serves as our guiding beacon, illuminating the path to inner tranquility and spiritual fulfillment. The words of Marcus Aurelius resonate deeply within the recesses of our consciousness. Our life is what our thoughts make of it. Indeed, the power of our thoughts to shape our reality is profound. By harnessing the cognitive faculties of our minds, we possess the ability to transcend adversity and cultivate resilience in the face of life's manifold challenges. It is through the practice of mindfulness, the art of being fully present in each moment, that we unlock the gates to inner serenity and contentment. Envision, if you will, a leisurely promenade through a sun-kissed grove, where the rustling leaves divulge secrets of antiquity and the balmy zephyrs caress one's countenance with tender affection. In such moments of tranquil repose, we find solace amidst the tumult of modern existence, grounding ourselves in the exquisite beauty of the present moment. As the Stoic sage Epictetus sagely remarked, e-freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. Indeed, by embracing the practice of mindfulness, we liberate ourselves from the fetters of regret and anxiety, finding solace in the eternal now. But how do we cultivate mindfulness in the crucible of daily life? How do we train our minds to abide in the present moment, unfettered by the vagaries of past regrets and future anxieties? The answer lies in diligent practice, in the deliberate cultivation of awareness and presence in each moment. Through mindful observation, we refine our sensory faculties and attune ourselves to the subtle nuances of our surroundings. Whether it be the gentle susurration of foliage in the breeze or the resplendent hues of a blossoming blossom, each moment becomes a testament to the resplendent beauty of existence. 
Breathing meditation offers another avenue for cultivating mindfulness and inner peace. By directing our focus to the rhythmic cadence of our breath, we anchor ourselves in the present moment, relinquishing the burdensome cares that weigh heavily upon our minds. With each inhalation and exhalation, we find ourselves drawn deeper into the sanctum of inner stillness, where serenity reigns supreme. However, mindfulness is not merely a passive state of being. It is an active engagement with life itself. It is a clarion call to awaken to the richness of each moment, to savor the splendor that envelopes us, and to cultivate gratitude for the precious gift of existence. In the words of the Stoic luminary Marcus Aurelius, Je the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Indeed, by cultivating a mindful attitude towards life, we infuse each moment with profundity and purpose, deriving joy from the simple pleasures of everyday existence. In summation, the journey of resilience and acceptance constitutes a profound odyssey that unfolds within the recesses of our hearts and minds. It is a journey of profound self-discovery, fortitude, and personal development that impels us to embrace life's uncertainties with open-hearted equanimity. Through the transformative crucible of journaling, the enduring wisdom of Stoicism, and the disciplined practice of mindfulness, we embark upon a sacred pilgrimage towards inner peace and spiritual fulfillment, guided by the luminous beacon of virtue and the promise of a brighter tomorrow. Within the intricate labyrinth of human existence, wherein the complexities of life unfurl like intricate tapestries, the endeavor to live in accordance with our values emerges as a noble pursuit fraught with challenges and intricacies. Indeed, the exigencies of daily life often conspire to test the mettle of our convictions, tempting us to veer from the path of virtue. Yet, in moments of doubt and tribulation, we are reminded of the profound wisdom articulated by Seneca. Z1 does not enjoy a full life without challenges. It is amidst these trials that the cardinal virtues of Stoicism, temperance, wisdom, courage, and justice, offer invaluable guidance. Let us delve deeper into these foundational virtues of Stoic philosophy, each of which serves as a beacon illuminating the path to ethical living and personal fulfillment. Wisdom, the cornerstone of sagacity, serves as a guiding light amidst life's labyrinthine complexities. It empowers one to discern solutions where others perceive only insurmountable obstacles, fostering clarity of thought and purposeful action. In the crucible of contention, wisdom enables one to navigate contentious situations with equanimity, harnessing the power of applied knowledge to defuse conflicts and foster constructive dialogue. Courage, in turn, epitomizes the indomitable spirit that enables one to confront adversity with fortitude and resolve. True courage lies not in the absence of fear, but in the willingness to act in spite of it. Consider the archetypal example of public speaking, an endeavor that instills trepidation in many. It is courage that emboldens individuals to ascend the podium, articulate their convictions, and leave an indelible mark upon their audience. Justice, the bedrock of moral integrity, impels one to prioritize fairness and equity in all their dealings. In a world rife with self-interest and moral ambiguity, acting justly demands a steadfast commitment to the welfare of others above personal gain. Reflect upon instances wherein altruism triumphed over self-interest, a testament to the inherent nobility of the human spirit. Temperance, perhaps the most arduous of virtues to cultivate, entails mastery over one's desires and impulses. It is the antithesis of indulgence, urging one to eschew transient pleasures in favor of enduring fulfillment. By exercising restraint and moderation, individuals cultivate resilience and fortitude, bolstering their resolve to pursue loftier goals. Embracing these virtues not only enriches life with moral rectitude, but also imbues it with depth and purpose. Decisions rooted in virtue fortify one's character and engender a profound sense of fulfillment. Throughout history, exemplars of virtue, from Marcus Aurelius, with his unwavering commitment to justice and wisdom, 
to Nelson Mandela, whose steadfast courage and dedication to justice continue to inspire generations, have illuminated the path to ethical living and personal fulfillment. Transitioning to the realm of introspection, let us embark upon a journey of self-discovery, a voyage characterized by profound revelations and transformative insights. The maxim je know thyself, he attributed to the ancient Stoic philosopher Epicurus, encapsulates the essence of this odyssey. Consider a pivotal moment in your own journey, wherein doubt and uncertainty loomed large, obscuring the path ahead. It is amidst these moments of existential quandary that the imperative of self-awareness assumes paramount importance. Stoic philosophy, with its emphasis on introspection and self-knowledge, provides a sturdy foundation upon which to embark upon this voyage of self-discovery. Engaging in meditative practices and journaling serves as conduits for self-reflection, offering moments of profound introspection and self-reckoning. By confronting our limitations with unwavering candor, we pave the way for transformative change and personal growth. Each moment of introspection serves as a crucible wherein our character is forged, honed, and refined, aligning our actions with the noble precepts of Stoic virtue. As we navigate the labyrinthine corridors of the self, let us heed the clarion call of Marcus Aurelius. Dear the mirror of the soul is clear, you need only cleanse it to behold the light of your true self. Through diligent self-examination and introspection, we unveil the latent potential within, illuminating the path towards authenticity and self-actualization. Are you prepared to embark upon this journey of self-discovery, wherein every revelation serves as a beacon guiding you towards the shores of personal fulfillment? Lastly, let us contemplate the importance of emotional mastery, a quintessential tenet of Stoic philosophy that empowers one to navigate life's tumultuous waters with equanimity and grace. Imagine yourself ensnared in the throes of adversity, besieged by stress and uncertainty. Amidst the tempest of emotions, the ability to exercise emotional restraint emerges as a cornerstone of stoic virtue. Allow me to share a personal anecdote wherein I confronted a profound personal crisis, teetering on the precipice of emotional turmoil. Yet, rather than succumbing to the maelstrom of emotions, I invoked the timeless wisdom of stoic philosophy, finding solace amidst the storm. Through deliberate acts of emotional regulation, I transcended the turbulence of the moment, emerging with renewed clarity and resolve. In conclusion, let us heed the sage counsel of the Stoics and embark upon a journey of self-discovery, virtue, and emotional mastery. By embracing the precepts of Stoic philosophy and cultivating self-awareness, we unlock the latent potential within, forging a path towards authenticity and personal fulfillment. May this journey be characterized by profound revelations, transformative insights, and unwavering resolve, a testament to the indomitable spirit of human resilience. Within the timeless wisdom encapsulated in Marcus Aurelius's Je Meditations, there lies a profound maxim that resonates deeply, as you have power over your mind, not external events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This concise yet impactful aphorism became a guiding principle during moments of adversity in my life. Drawing upon the teachings of Stoic philosophy, I adopted the practice of e premeditatio malorum, which entails envisioning potential adversities before they materialize. Each morning, I dedicated time to contemplate the challenges that could arise and strategized calm and rational responses. This proactive approach fortified my mental resilience, enabling me to navigate unforeseen obstacles with composure and equanimity. Furthermore, I embraced the stoic concept of e-objectification, e to temper my emotional responses. Rather than yielding to the immediacy of emotions, I adopted a detached perspective, recognizing their transient nature. Reframing my internal dialogue from e I am angry v to e there is anger present e facilitated a deeper understanding of emotions as fleeting phenomena, distinct from my core identity. 
Viewing emotions as transient experiences enabled me to maintain emotional equilibrium amidst turbulent circumstances. Moreover, Stoic philosophy instilled in me a profound comprehension of personal agency amid external circumstances. While I cannot dictate the events that unfold in my life, I possess autonomy over my reactions and responses. By anchoring myself in the present moment through mindfulness practices, such as focused breathing, I cultivated a sense of groundedness and clarity. This deliberate shift from reactive impulsivity to thoughtful discernment empowered me to make sound decisions aligned with my values, even in the face of adversity. The transformative potential of Stoic principles extends beyond individual resilience to foster a broader ethos of gratitude and acceptance. Embracing a daily practice of gratitude revolutionized my perspective, imbuing each day with profound appreciation for life's blessings. Through the simple ritual of acknowledging three things I am grateful for each morning and evening, I cultivated heightened awareness of life's abundance, transcending transient hardships to embrace moments of serenity and joy. Furthermore, Stoicism facilitated a profound shift in my perception of fear, transforming it from a paralyzing force into a catalyst for growth and courage. Inspired by Epictetus's timeless dictum, it is only when we face our fears that we discover the true reserves of strength that lie within us, yea I confronted fear with unwavering resolve. Methodically evaluating the likelihood and severity of perceived threats and reframing fear as a potent source of motivation enabled me to transcend its inhibiting grip and embrace newfound opportunities for personal and professional growth. In essence, Stoic philosophy offers a comprehensive framework for navigating life's vicissitudes with grace, fortitude, and wisdom. By internalizing its principles and integrating them into daily practice, one can cultivate resilience, gratitude, and courage, transcending adversities to lead a life imbued with purpose and fulfillment. As we embark upon the journey of self-discovery and growth, let us heed the timeless wisdom of the Stoics and embrace each day with a spirit of resilience, gratitude, and courage. The juxtaposition of these two philosophical paradigms presents a profound opportunity for transformative influence upon our lives, leading us towards a state of enduring contentment and genuine fulfillment. Allow yourself a moment to envisage standing amidst a grand banquet, replete with an array of delectable offerings, each dish symbolizing a cherished wish, revered goal, or cherished dream. Initially, the allure may be to indulge indiscriminately, filling one's plate to capacity with every tantalizing option presented. However, as discerned through introspection, the manner in which we navigate our choices holds far greater significance than the mere abundance of options available to us. This underscores the paramount importance of exercising discernment and restraint in our pursuit of aspirations and desires. It is imperative to recognize that exercising moderation does not necessitate the renunciation or abandonment of our desires. Rather, it entails harnessing them judiciously to enrich our lives without relinquishing control. Reflecting upon a leisurely stroll through the bustling thoroughfares of the city one afternoon, I found myself irresistibly drawn to the glittering storefronts showcasing the latest technological marvels. As an individual with a penchant for novelty and innovation, my initial impulse was to acquire the newest gadget on display. Yet, in a moment of introspection, I paused to contemplate the intrinsic value of this acquisition. Would it genuinely enhance the quality of my life? or was it merely a fleeting indulgence destined to provide ephemeral gratification? This moment of contemplation afforded me the opportunity to exercise prudence and temper my impulses with rationality and foresight. Moderation, a cardinal virtue espoused by Stoic philosophy, not only serves as a bulwark against excess but also cultivates inner strength and resilience in the face of adversity. As Cicero astutely observed, yeah, the poor person is not one who has little, but one who craves more. By embracing moderation, we transcend the insatiable pursuit of material accumulation, attaining a profound sense of tranquility and personal fulfillment. 
Through personal experience, the profound correlation between moderation and stoic temperance becomes increasingly apparent amidst life's vicissitudes and trials. In moments of adversity, temperance serves as a guiding beacon, reminding us of our innate agency in shaping our responses to external circumstances and maintaining equipoise amid the tumult of life's tempests. Furthermore, the practice of gratitude emerges as a potent antidote to discontentment, fostering a deeper appreciation for life's manifold blessings and imbuing each day with a sense of profound richness and meaning. Cultivating an attitude of gratitude entails acknowledging and embracing the abundance that surrounds us, irrespective of life's myriad challenges and tribulations. By adopting a daily ritual of expressing gratitude for even the simplest of joys and blessings, we cultivate a heightened awareness of life's inherent richness and imbue our existence with a profound sense of contentment and serenity. This transformative shift in perspective enables us to transcend transient hardships and embrace life's myriad wonders with a spirit of equanimity and appreciation. In essence, the principles of moderation, gratitude, and stoic resilience converge to impart invaluable lessons on navigating life's complexities with grace, wisdom, and fortitude. By embracing these timeless virtues and integrating them into the fabric of our daily lives, we forge a path towards enduring contentment and genuine fulfillment, transcending transient adversities to embrace each day with renewed vigor and appreciation. As we embark on the journey of self-discovery and growth, let us heed the wisdom of the ages and cultivate a life imbued with purpose, meaning, and profound gratitude for the boundless blessings that grace our existence. In the intricate tapestry of human existence, the dynamic interplay between perpetual change and steadfast resilience forms a narrative thread that intricately weaves through the fabric of our lives. Embarking on this odyssey of self-discovery, I have traversed the terrain of flux and stability, grappling with the profound implications of adaptability, moderation, and virtue in shaping the contours of my existence. Upon contemplation of my journey, I am reminded of a pivotal juncture in my professional trajectory, wherein the winds of change swept through the corridors of corporate restructuring. As my company embarked on a transformative reorganization, the specter of layoffs loomed large, casting a pall of uncertainty over the workplace. Faced with this crucible of upheaval, I confronted a stark choice succumb to the paralyzing grip of fear and trepidation or seize control of my destiny with resolve and fortitude. Opting for the latter course, I embarked on a voyage of self-improvement, honing my skills, expanding my professional network, and remaining vigilant for opportunities amidst the tumult. Amidst the chaos of organizational flux, I discerned a beacon of opportunity, ultimately ascending to a role of unforeseen prominence and responsibility. This crucible of adversity not only tested my mettle, but also imbued me with a profound appreciation for the transformative power of adaptability in navigating life's turbulent seas. Similarly, in the realm of personal relationships, I have borne witness to the capricious nature of human bonds, subject to the vicissitudes of time and circumstance. Recalling a poignant episode of relational upheaval, I grappled with the tumultuous dissolution of a cherished partnership, engulfed by a tempest of emotional tumult and existential uncertainty. Yet, amidst the wreckage of shattered dreams and fractured promises, I discovered an unexpected reservoir of resilience and inner strength. Embracing the cathartic journey of self-discovery, I embarked on a voyage of introspection and renewal, reclaiming agency over my narrative and charting a course towards emotional wholeness and self-empowerment. Through the crucible of heartache and loss emerged a phoenix of newfound resilience and self-assurance, a testament to the transformative power of embracing change as a catalyst for personal growth and renewal. At the philosophical heart of my journey lies the cardinal principle of moderation, a precept that resonates deeply with the stoic ethos of temperance and self-restraint. From the crucible of youthful indiscretion and excess emerged a profound appreciation for the virtues of balance and equilibrium in fostering holistic well-being and fulfillment. Confronting the specter of burnout and disillusionment, 
I embarked on a journey of self-discovery, endeavoring to recalibrate my relationship with material possessions and existential pursuits. Through the cultivation of discernment and judicious restraint, I discovered the transformative potential of moderation in fostering inner tranquility and emotional equilibrium amidst life's tumultuous currents. Furthermore, the pursuit of virtue emerges as an indispensable pathway to enduring happiness and fulfillment, a lodestar guiding me towards the summits of moral excellence and personal flourishing. Cultivating virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance serves as the cornerstone of my ethical framework, providing a moral compass to navigate life's labyrinthine passages with integrity and rectitude. Drawing inspiration from the timeless wisdom of Stoic philosophy, I endeavor to embody these virtues in my daily life, striving to affect positive change and uphold the principles of equity and fairness in all spheres of existence. In summation, the tapestry of my journey is imbued with the interplay of adaptability, moderation, and virtue, guiding me towards a life of purpose, resilience, and profound fulfillment. Through the crucible of adversity and self-discovery, I have forged a path toward self-actualization, embracing change as a catalyst for growth, moderation as a bulwark against excess, and virtue as a lodestar illuminating the path towards moral excellence and personal flourishing. In the intricate fabric of existence, the transient impulses of fleeting desires fail to ensnare me. Rather, I seek solace in the serene guidance of reason. For what would I stand to gain if I surrendered control to my emotions, allowing them to dictate the course of my actions? Each decision I make casts ripples across the vast expanse of time, shaping the trajectory of my future. Thus, I deliberate upon my choices, contemplating their potential outcomes with a discerning eye. I steadfastly endeavor to adhere to principles of righteousness, not solely for their inherent simplicity, but because they resonate deeply with the essence of my being. Self-discipline, I have come to recognize, serves as a cornerstone in my relentless pursuit of moral excellence. I am keenly aware that the path to virtue is fraught with challenges, navigable only through the unwavering resolve of disciplined action. Upholding the values I wish to see embodied in the world, I am cognizant that genuine transformation stems from the inner recesses of our being. As Seneca astutely proclaimed, happiness is derived from the attainment of virtue and the unwavering commitment to live by its tenets. In every facet of my existence, be it the words I utter, the steps I take, or the deeds I perform, I endeavor to remain steadfast in my adherence to these guiding principles, for therein lies the essence of true greatness. Amidst the tumult of daily existence, it is all too facile to become ensnared in the relentless pursuit of unattainable desires, thereby obscuring the myriad blessings that already grace our lives. Yet, through the cultivation of an attitude of gratitude, we nourish the very essence of our souls. Reflecting upon the myriad blessings bestowed upon us each day, we awaken to the profound significance of life's simple pleasures. From the resplendent dawn that heralds the arrival of a new day to the tender embrace of a cherished companion smile, every moment teems with reasons for gratitude. To foster an ethos of abundance, one must first acknowledge the manifold blessings that enrich our lives. Rather than fixating on perceived deficiencies, we must redirect our gaze to the myriad treasures that already adorn the landscape of our existence. Whether it be the roof that shelters us from the elements or the sustenance that nourishes our bodies, we are endowed with treasures often overlooked in the pursuit of ephemeral desires. By shifting our perspective from one of scarcity to one of abundance, we engender a transformative shift in our outlook on life. Consider, for a moment, how your day would unfold if you were to consciously dwell upon the manifold blessings that punctuate your existence. The warmth of sunlight streaming through the window, the aroma of freshly brewed coffee wafting through the air, or the soothing patter of rain upon the roof, all constitute ephemeral yet profound sources of joy. By cultivating an attitude of gratitude, we imbue each moment with significance, 
thereby fostering a deep-seated appreciation for the richness of life's tapestry. As the ancient Stoic philosopher Epictetus aptly observed, she happiness is not derived from possessing what we desire, but from appreciating what we have. By embracing an attitude of gratitude, we recalibrate our perspective, learning to cherish life's simplest pleasures. Let us not squander our days lamenting over what eludes us, but instead, let us revel in the abundance that already graces our lives. For therein lies the true essence of happiness, the profound appreciation for life's myriad blessings, no matter how modest they may seem. Recognizing the impediments to personal advancement and summoning the requisite fortitude to undertake action represent fundamental pillars in the framework of self-mastery. Within this pursuit, envisioning oneself transcending adversity serves as a potent catalyst, while embracing uncertainty and deriving strength from traversing it epitomize the resilience necessary for individual development. It is imperative to acknowledge that concealed beneath every apprehension lies the potential for genuine emancipation and profound personal evolution. In the ceaseless tumult of contemporary life, the pursuit of introspection often recedes amidst the clamor of daily existence. Yet, amidst the relentless din, the act of pausing to delve into the recesses of one's being holds the promise of transformative introspection. Permit me to serve as your guide on this journey of self-reflection, where the exploration of self holds the power to effectuate a seismic shift in perspective and catalyze holistic personal growth. Each day, amidst the tranquil embrace of silence, I carve out moments for introspection, immersing myself in the labyrinthine corridors of self-examination. In these moments of contemplative solitude, I endeavor to discern the intricate tapestry of thoughts and emotions that constitute the essence of my being. Through meticulous scrutiny of my responses to diverse stimuli, I gain invaluable insights into the labyrinthine depths of my psyche, unraveling the threads of my strengths and weaknesses with each passing moment. This daily ritual of introspection serves as a sacred practice, enabling me to maintain an unwavering connection with my authentic self, thereby fostering a deeper understanding of my motivations, aspirations, and values. As I delve deeper into the recesses of my consciousness, I confront the myriad complexities that define the human experience. Questions pertaining to the origin and nature of my thoughts, the impact of my words on others, and the alignment of my actions with my values and aspirations serve as the crucible through which personal growth is forged. Through this process of rigorous self-inquiry, I endeavor to cultivate a heightened sense of self-awareness, thereby empowering myself to navigate the labyrinth of life with clarity and purpose. In the pursuit of self-mastery, I embrace the inevitability of failure as an invaluable catalyst for growth and transformation. Rather than succumbing to self-reproach in the aftermath of missteps, I view each setback as a potent learning opportunity, enabling me to glean valuable insights and refine my approach moving forward. With each setback, I emerge stronger, more resilient, and better equipped to surmount the obstacles that lie ahead. Setting clear, actionable goals constitutes a cornerstone of my personal development strategy providing a roadmap for progress and a framework for accountability. Each goal serves as a beacon of light, illuminating the path forward and guiding my actions with purpose and intentionality. However, goal setting alone is insufficient. Regular self-assessment and course correction are essential to ensure continued alignment with my aspirations and objectives. Maintaining a candid and introspective relationship with myself is paramount for fostering mental and emotional well-being. I pledge unwavering honesty and self-compassion, acknowledging both my flaws and strengths with humility and grace. Through this process of radical self-acceptance, I cultivate a profound sense of inner peace and serenity, embracing the totality of my being with unconditional love and compassion. Indeed, Introspection serves as my steadfast companion on the journey of self-discovery, guiding me inexorably towards self-realization and personal fulfillment. Embarking upon the profound voyage of self-discovery, 
one endeavors to delve into the intricate depths of individual identity, unraveling the multifaceted layers that compose the intricate tapestry of selfhood. This odyssey toward heightened self-awareness transcends the realm of the mundane and superficial, delving into the profound realms of introspection and contemplation to unearth the quintessence of one's existence. At the core of this noble quest lies the fundamental principle of kindness, a guiding beacon that illuminates the path toward personal enlightenment and fulfillment. Kindness, both toward oneself and others, emerges not merely as a moral dictate, but as a transformative force that shapes our interactions and relationships, imbuing them with the profound virtues of compassion and empathy. Recollecting instances when kindness served as a sanctified refuge amidst life's tumultuous trials evokes a deep-seated sense of gratitude and humility. One reflects upon a poignant occasion when a cherished companion found themselves navigating the turbulent currents of adversity. Through the extension of a compassionate ear and the proffering of unwavering support devoid of judgment, the transformative potency of empathy was vividly witnessed. Bonds deepened, fortified by a shared understanding and acceptance that transcended verbal expression. Yet, the voyage toward kindness encompasses more than mere external gestures. It necessitates an introspective journey of self-forgiveness and acceptance. Confronted with the inevitability of personal fallibility, one embarked upon a path of radical self-compassion, embracing individual shortcomings as integral facets of the human condition. Through this process of profound introspection and forgiveness, the shackles of guilt and shame were shed, fostering an environment conducive to growth and self-renewal. Furthermore, the cultivation of empathy and compassion extends beyond individual relationships, encompassing a broader ethos of altruism and benevolence toward humanity at large. Reflecting upon encounters with strangers grappling with life's vicissitudes, one sees the opportunity to extend a helping hand, offering solace and support during moments of profound need. In these instances of connection, disparate souls converged, bound by a shared humanity and a collective yearning for understanding and fellowship. In essence, the ethos of kindness transcends the confines of individuality, permeating the very fabric of our existence with its transformative essence. By embracing kindness as both a personal ethos and a guiding principle in our interactions with others, we embark upon a journey of profound self-discovery and human connection, a journey marked by empathy, compassion, and the unwavering pursuit of the common good. Embarking on the journey of authentic humanity necessitates transcending the inclination to emulate the actions of adversaries, a wisdom encapsulated eloquently by Marcus Aurelius. Indeed, the cultivation of compassion not only fosters profound connections with others, but also facilitates a profound exploration of our innermost selves, characterized by benevolence and understanding. Thus, extending compassion to both oneself and others serves as a conduit for embracing empathy and benevolence, catalyzing transformative shifts in one's life that reverberate through the fabric of human interaction and communal harmony. Discovering one's raison d'etre, the intrinsic purpose that infuses life with meaning and significance, resembles unearthing the most precious treasure within the vast expanse of existence. Allow me to serve as your guide on this journey of self-discovery, wherein we traverse the labyrinthine corridors of your consciousness to uncover the bedrock of your unique values, passions, and proficiencies. Firstly, Contemplate the core values that serve as the guiding beacons illuminating your path forward. Unveiling these values often entails confronting pivotal decisions that test the resilience of one's moral compass, as I personally experienced when faced with the dichotomy between financial security and ethical integrity. Opting for the latter path proved to be an invaluable lesson in aligning action with conviction, engendering a profound sense of fulfillment derived from living in harmony with deeply held values. Delve deeper into the reservoirs of your passions, those fervent pursuits that invigorate and animate your being. For me, the written word has long served as a bastion of self-expression and purposeful living, 
evoking an ineffable sense of alignment and resonance with the world. Moreover, take stock of your unique proficiencies and strengths, for they serve as the building blocks upon which your life's purpose is constructed. Identifying my innate ability to empathize and uplift others proved instrumental in charting a course toward a purpose-driven existence catalyzing positive change and transformation within myself and the world around me. Crafting clear and concise goals aligned with your purpose constitutes the cornerstone of deliberate progress toward your desired destination. Each endeavor, no matter how seemingly insignificant, propels you forward on the trajectory toward a meaningful existence characterized by purposeful intent and fulfillment. Furthermore, Find meaning and significance in your interpersonal connections and professional endeavors, for therein lies the fertile ground for personal growth and communal flourishing. Reflecting on the moment, I secured a vocation that harmonized financial stability with altruistic pursuits underscored the intrinsic worth derived from meaningful engagement and contribution to the greater good. Ultimately, living each day with a profound sense of direction and purpose is paramount. Embrace the journey toward self-discovery and actualization with vigor and intentionality, for therein lies the essence of a fulfilled and purposeful life. As Cicero astutely observed, the purpose of life is a life of purpose. Embrace the exhilarating odyssey of self-exploration and infuse your existence with meaning and significance that reverberates through the corridors of time, shaping not only your own destiny, but also the collective tapestry of human experience. In the voyage through life's unpredictable waters, one of the paramount insights I've gleaned is the critical importance of maintaining emotional composure while charting one's own course. Amidst the cacophony of external voices and societal expectations, I have come to realize the intrinsic necessity of unwaveringly upholding personal equanimity, impervious to the fluctuating currents of approval or disapproval. Central to this steadfastness is the profound acknowledgement that my inherent value transcends the transient judgments of others. It embodies a luminous jewel, emanating its brilliance independently of external validation or critique. This epiphany, akin to a beacon amidst the storm, has empowered me to forge ahead with resolute confidence, undeterred by the arrows of external judgment. Indeed, my unyielding reliance on personal discernment serves as an unwavering lighthouse amid the tempest of external scrutiny. Like a guiding light piercing through the fog of uncertainty, it illuminates my path, offering clarity and reassurance amidst doubt and criticism. This internal conviction, honed through introspection and self-awareness, stands as the cornerstone of my resilience in the face of adversity. While I remain receptive to constructive critique, regarding it as a catalyst for growth and refinement, I adamantly refuse to allow the venomous barbs of negativity to breach my inner sanctuary. Instead, I draw strength from within, fortified by an unshakable belief in my inherent value and dignity. This steadfast resolve, tempered by the crucible of experience, enables me to weather the storms of doubt and uncertainty with poise and fortitude. Furthermore, my detachment from the capricious whims of external validation has liberated me from the bondage of approval-seeking behavior. Rather than chasing after the illusory mirage of external validation, I have cultivated a deep reservoir of self-love and acceptance, deriving sustenance from within rather than from without. This inner wellspring of self-assurance, akin to an oasis amidst the desert of external judgment, nourishes my spirit and sustains me on the journey of self-discovery. In essence, my odyssey toward self-acceptance and inner tranquility has been characterized by an unwavering commitment to authenticity and self-awareness. By anchoring myself in the bedrock of personal values and convictions, I have charted a course that is uniquely mine, impervious to the shifting sands of external opinion. Embracing this expedition, I have discovered a profound sense of liberation and empowerment, enabling me to navigate life's vicissitudes with courage, resilience, and unwavering confidence. Embarking upon the journey of embracing silence entails delving into the profound depths of one's inner sanctum, 
where the echoes of the self resonate with resounding clarity. Through the practice of meditation, individuals endeavor to establish a symbiotic relationship with the tranquility that silence offers. Within this sacred space, the breath serves as a guiding beacon, illuminating the path to introspection and self-discovery. In the serene embrace of silence, individuals find solace from the relentless cacophony of the external world. It is amidst this tranquil refuge that the teachings of the Stoics find resonance, extolling the virtues of silence as a steadfast companion on life's tumultuous journey. Here, amidst the whispers of stillness, lies an opportunity for profound introspection and renewal, a sanctuary where the turbulence of the mind finds reprieve, and clarity emerges as a beacon of guidance. Yet, to truly appreciate the essence of silence, individuals must embark on a transformative journey that transcends the mere absence of noise. It necessitates a profound shift in consciousness, a reorientation towards inner serenity amidst the chaos of everyday existence. I recollect an instance wherein I found myself amidst the bustling ambience of a crowded coffee shop. Rather than succumb to the overwhelming din, I chose to embrace the symphony of human interaction, allowing the ebb and flow of conversation to wash over me without judgment or attachment. In the pursuit of silence, individuals confront not only external distractions, but also the ceaseless chatter of the mind. Herein lies the essence of self-discipline, a steadfast commitment to harnessing the power of focus and concentration amidst the tempest of internal dialogue. Through disciplined practice, Individuals cultivate the capacity to observe their thoughts with detachment, fostering a profound sense of inner peace and clarity. Transitioning to the realm of self-discipline, I attest to its transformative power in the pursuit of personal growth and fulfillment. It is through disciplined action that individuals transcend the constraints of inertia and procrastination, forging a path towards self-actualization and achievement. Recalling a pivotal moment in my journey, I confronted the allure of procrastination head-on, channeling my inner resolve to overcome obstacles and propel myself towards my goals. Indeed, the journey of self-discipline is fraught with challenges and setbacks, yet it is through these trials that individuals discover the true extent of their inner strength and resilience. Each obstacle becomes an opportunity for growth and refinement, as individuals navigate the labyrinth of self-discovery with unwavering determination and fortitude. In conclusion, the pursuit of silence and self-discipline is an odyssey of profound significance, an exploration of the inner landscape where the soul finds solace amidst the chaos of existence. Through the practice of meditation and the cultivation of self-discipline, individuals embark on a transformative journey towards enlightenment and self-realization ultimately discovering the true essence of their being. In the midst of contemplation, I found myself confronted with a critical juncture, torn between yielding to the transient allure of procrastination and honoring the solemn commitment I had made to myself. It was at this pivotal moment that an unwavering resolve to uphold personal integrity and pursue my aspirations with steadfast dedication emerged as the predominant force compelling me to resist the temptation of procrastination with resolute determination. This exemplified the profound notion that strength of will, akin to a muscle, thrives and flourishes through consistent exercise and deliberate cultivation. Reflecting upon past experiences, I recollected instances where the cultivation of willpower had proven indispensable, particularly in endeavors such as weight management. In those initial stages, when faced with the enticing prospect of indulging in confectionery or fast food, each deliberate choice to resist temptation served as a stepping stone towards reinforcing my willpower. With each successive triumph over temptation, I found myself better equipped to confront future challenges, gradually bolstering my resilience against the allure of instant gratification. Indeed, the cultivation of willpower transcends individual pursuits and extends to all facets of life, constituting the bedrock of self-discipline. The attainment of self-mastery represents not only a personal triumph, but also an embodiment of profound satisfaction derived from the ability 
to regulate one's impulses and adhere to established routines and habits, notwithstanding the allure of temptation. As aptly noted by Epictetus, Je no man is free unless he is master of himself, Je underscoring the pivotal role of self-discipline in reclaiming autonomy over one's thoughts, actions, and ultimately, one's destiny. The journey toward self-discipline is multifaceted, characterized by deliberate strides and conscious choices that collectively contribute to the realization of one's desired persona. At its core lies integrity, serving as a guiding beacon that illuminates the tumultuous seas of life with unwavering moral rectitude. More than a mere abstract concept, integrity embodies a steadfast commitment to one's core beliefs and values, providing a moral compass amidst life's myriad tribulations and temptations. Upholding the principles of honesty and sincerity serves as the cornerstone of genuine human connection, fostering relationships founded upon trust, respect, and mutual understanding. Even amidst moral ambiguity, individuals fortified by the unwavering resolve of integrity find solace in the unwavering pursuit of truth, opting for the discomfort of honesty over the allure of expedient solutions. In doing so, they safeguard the intrinsic value of their principles, fortifying their character and preserving their moral integrity in a world replete with deceit and temptation. In the intricate fabric of human existence, the pursuit of integrity stands as a lofty endeavor, albeit one fraught with challenges. Epictetus, the venerable Stoic philosopher, imparted enduring wisdom when he extolled integrity as the cornerstone of wisdom. This dictum resonates deeply within me, serving as a guiding principle in navigating the labyrinthine corridors of moral complexity. Integrity, I have come to discern, is not merely a static virtue but a dynamic force that animates every facet of our being. It serves as the luminous beacon that illuminates the path of righteousness amid the encroaching shadows of moral ambiguity. When confronted with the seductive allure of temptation, it is this unwavering commitment to moral rectitude that furnishes the strength to resist, enabling one to stand firm in the face of moral delusion. The armor of integrity, forged through the crucible of experience, comprises not tangible steel but unwavering resolve and unyielding conviction. It stands as a shield against the corrosive forces of moral relativism, a bulwark safeguarding the sanctity of one's character. For within the immutable alignment of one's words with deeds lies the bedrock of integrity, a symphony of consonants wherein the melody of one's professed beliefs harmonizes seamlessly with the cadence of one's actions. Transparency, then, becomes the hallmark of integrity, a commitment to authenticity that finds expression in the candid disclosure of one's thoughts, feelings, and intentions. It is akin to the pages of an open tome, wherein the narrative of one's life unfolds with unblemished clarity and candor. I am reminded of a poignant moment when I pledged my assistance to a dear friend, only to falter in its fulfillment through procrastination and neglect. It was in this moment of reckoning that the dissonance between my professed intentions and actual conduct became starkly evident. Yet, rather than succumb to despair, I resolved to rectify this incongruity, realigning my actions with my avowed commitments and reaffirming my fidelity to the principles of integrity. Honesty, the cornerstone of integrity, transcends the realm of mere choice. It is a sacred covenant, both with oneself and with others. By steadfastly upholding the precepts of sincerity and authenticity in all my interactions, I endeavor to cultivate a climate of trust and mutual respect. It is through the unvarnished truth of my words and the consistency of my actions that I seek to earn the esteem and admiration of my peers, eschewing the allure of expediency or self-interest in favor of steadfast adherence to moral rectitude. As I contemplate the reflection in the mirror at day's end, I derive profound solace from the knowledge that I have conducted myself with integrity and contributed positively to the world around me. For integrity is not merely a virtue to be admired from afar, but a guiding principle to be lived and embodied in every thought, word, and deed. It serves as the silent sentinel that stands watch at the gates of the soul, 
ensuring that the inner sanctum remains inviolate amidst the tumult of external vicissitudes. In navigating the labyrinthine passages of life, the art of accepting fate emerges as a paramount lesson gleaned from the annals of Stoic philosophy. Embracing the immutable tenet that certain circumstances lie beyond our control, I have encountered a profound sense of liberation amidst the crucible of adversity. When confronted with the collapse of a cherished endeavor due to unforeseen circumstances, I chose to embrace the stoic ethos of acceptance, relinquishing futile resistance in favor of graceful acquiescence. Acceptance of fate, far from denoting resignation, signifies resilience and fortitude in the face of life's capricious whims. It is a testament to the indomitable human spirit, which finds solace in relinquishing feudal resistance and embracing the transformative power of adaptability. Guided by the timeless wisdom of Seneca, I have learned to navigate the turbulent currents of fate with equanimity and fortitude, forging a path of inner serenity amidst the tempestuous seas of existence.